Okay, so we have a guinea pig called Lumi, who was adopted from here, and uh, she's come back to us with a problem, which you can see quite easily. It's a massive abscessed area that has grown very, very quickly around her jaw. Now, there's a number of things can actually cause this, but essentially it's around infection. So this could result from infection in and around the teeth, so a problem within the jaw itself, or it could be infection caused on the outside, in something like a bite wound, for example. Um, these can all start infection in this area, and because it is in and around the mouth, there's a lot of um, bacteria that sits around the mouth, and it can easily take hold. So what we need to look at is draining this abscess and then we'll actually check her, her dental uh, situation and we'll get her off to the vet to, to check further with that. But we're going to just alleviate a lot of this pressure that's come in. That's rather goopy, but to begin with, what we're going to do is shave this back so that we can actually touch the skin and the surface. And then we're going to numb that before we do anything. So let's just shave back this little area. I know it's a little bit noisy really and we need to get it in your face so I'm just going to put you here Let's see if we can just tuck you in so you're not so scared. I'm just going to to shave this back. Here we go. I know. Let's get this. Let's get this back so we can the other reason we need to shave it as well, the other reason we need to shave this back is so that we don't have, uh, so that we can be in contact directly with the skin, but also when the, the contents of the abscess comes away, that we get nothing like hair in the way of the tiny wound area where that's happened. So we want to keep it clean and clear so it's clear from an infection point of view. So we're just going to continue shaving. I know, I know, I know, I know. This is a big thing, isn't it? This is very big. You can start to we can start to see the size of this abscess. This is very large. It actually extends right under her jaw, her lower rear jaw, from the eye. That even the eye is starting to be affected, just with the pressure and swelling in this area. Does seem to be more in alignment with down near the lower jaw. Now, with any lumps in and around the face, there can be a number of causes. So, in this instance, it is an abscess, and there's a few telltale signs with this. Firstly, that it came up very, very quickly. Secondly, that it's very oval and perfect in shape, like a balloon being blown up. And thirdly, it's actually it bounces back when when you touch it. So there's quite a bit of pressure content in there. There's also a bit of warmth, which is around the fact that there's infection. There's more warmth on the underside than there is on the top side, which again makes me think it's more connected to the lower right hand jaw. But we're going to get this checked out quickly as soon as we can. Now, there are other problems that can occur in and around this region. For example, thyroid issues, and they can form very large tumors and uh, we've got other infections that can occur in and around the throat and the mouth and the lower jaw. Some videos will upload shortly to do with that, but again, they're very different and the way we handle them is very, very different. So we've cleaned that back. What I'm going to do is use just a localized numbing cream 
we're going to put this on it you need to be careful that you've got gloves on for this and we could use a spray you've seen me do that before but I'm just going to to numb down that whole area it takes time to do this and we need to keep an eye on her while this is numbing down you need to be fairly liberal with what you're applying I know sweetheart Fairly smooth there. And what I've been looking at and observing on her is where we're actually going to, to look at draining it from. We want it to drain downwards and away from any uh, issues like veins. So we're actually going to, to go this direction here which is also in line with the bulk of the swelling in underneath. I know it's a little bit sore under there. So we're going to let her settle. We'll come back shortly and then you can see what we do. Uh, we also will use an antiseptic wipe to take this off before we actually lance this area because we don't want it going into the wound. Okay, so we're going to just lance this area with Lumi which is very messy. Before I do that, I'm just going to wipe off. I just want to wipe around that area where I had the cream. Just to wipe that away from the fur where we're going to lance this. We want to lance it on the underside and it's important that you have an adequate cover because it can be really quite goopy for anyone who has seen these abscesses and boy they also stink as well so little girl I need to keep you quite stable there we're just going to lance into this area the squamish look away now good girl that's it yeah we can let oh. We can lance the outside. I'm just going to get rid of this. Ugh. Let's get rid of this as quick as we can. Just don't want her standing a lot of it. I oh, know. Yeah. Good girl. Get that top one down. Just let that run out. We can we can only numb the outside. We can leave oof, all of that pressure and uh, stinkiness. And in a moment, we're going to flush it out. There's still more to come out. We'll just drain that down. We do some gentle massage up around the face. I know, just to help that come out in a way. And then we're going to flush it for her. Yeah. It's not nice, is it? And it's amazing how quickly recovery is from this. Once lanced. Yeah, it's quite thick, gungy material coming out. That's good. Not at all to come out. Little sweetie pie. Good. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay. Good girl. It's gonna feel so much. Yeah, you can feel now. It's your it's your bottom jaw, isn't it? Sore in there. It's sore right back here. It's clean up. You want to get away? I'm sure. Let's just let this run out. Girl, it's got to feel a lot better now. Super, super smelly. Okay, now I'm going to flush that out with Deprazole, which is really fabulous. It's just going to fill that little pocket and then we'll flush it out again. Good girl, I know. Super yucky, super yucky. But we want to stop that infection. Ugh. It's a very messy business. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Let's just brush it here. Good girl. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. Now. With an abscess of this sort, it's very likely that there will be more infection in the days to come. We reflush it a second time and that will sort it out. I know, is it gone? Look at that. Is it gone? Is it gone? I know. It's very messy. We've got to clean you up now. Yeah, it's pretty much the sore areas back here. Hey, what happened? I know we saw. Okay, here's saw. Let's get on top of it. Let's get on top of it. Little one. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Okay, that's it. So all we're going to do, we're going to clean her up. Yay, we're going to get you cleaned up. Yay. And we're going to let that continue to drain with that hole open. Okay. And we're going to check in on you again. Your face looks a little bit more normal. Is that better? We're going to have some yummy food. You gonna have some yummy food? Yeah, I think so. Ugh. Done. I just want to wipe your fur. Little girl, just wipe your fur and then we'll get rid of this and we'll go clean you up a little bit more. Then now. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. She's only young. This little piggy, she's very young. I know. So we're going to work it all out, aren't we? Okay, can I just pop some more antiseptic in there? I always, at the end, pop some antiseptic in and I'm going to let that drain naturally. Just naturally like that. Mm -hmm. That's it. Good. Let's see that swelling go down dramatically in the next 24 hours so you have a normal little face. Okay, so we'll check in again soon, everyone.